Yeah. Our love for the game runs deep. Take my watch. You were the support of Let's Go. From the Banter Master. I'm this guy's first play now. To the Oversabi Gucci's. And to all fans who make the game unforgettable. Game on! Enjoy the rhythm of the game with Goldberg. Official beer of the Super Eagles. Hello everyone, welcome along to Night Jack Game On, powered by Goldberg. We're delighted to have you for the 11th day of the Africa Cup of Nations. And of course, we are glad to be here in Nigeria in our third match day uh, against Guinea-Bissau. And we're excited about all of that. Given that we've got our um, four points in the building, so we pretty much just need to get the job done. We're expecting lots of goals because we've seen lots of goals in this tournament. And I think we're the only ones missing out on any <laughs> on, on the action. South Africa scoring four, um, I think the best game of the tournament so far. And we have to agree on this, gentlemen, uh, was the Angola Mauritania game. Yeah. <laughs> Three glorious goals. And I think about the AFCON and the stereotype it has about always being defensive, one nils mm. and all that yeah. stuff. But this AFCON, boy, incredible stuff. Lots of goals, lots of excitement. And I've got to say that it's just maybe we're, we're being left out in that regard. Mm. So good, looking forward to see uh, how all of that pans out. But first things first, um, great to see all of you. IBK, you know, on Monday and Luck and Rify. Gentlemen, good to be here. Yeah, uh, I mean, good to be back on 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 the, uh, on the table. <laughs> Wasn't here for the last one. Uh, yeah, but I I quite agree with you. I think <clears throat> the Afcon has, has has really 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 given us <laughs> lots of excitement. Yeah, teams the the audacious uh, approach to games that even some of the teams that we didn't expect have, have really given us. You know, you can you can name names. Uh, quite a number of them so far. Uh, but I, I'm, uh, for me, I'm not even concerned about Super Eagles scoring three four. Yeah, it's a good thing for the team, individual players. But look, win games because the Afcon doesn't matter mm. how many goals you score. Yeah. Being compact, being tactically mm. disciplined, that's how you win the tournament. Sixty-nine goals, uh, sixty-three goals actually is, well, is the, uh, the the total amount of goals scored at the time of this recording. That tells you something uh, about the, that's quite a lot. That's quite a lot, and it's not. We're not even into the full third match. Day. I think this yeah. is the big, this is the first game yeah. of okay. the third yeah. match day. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, that tells you. When people speak about African football, right, you know, it's almost with a smirk on their face. They say African football um, is physical, it is mm. athletic, and they almost say that to almost spite it. Yeah. But I find that um, that is the unique identity that we must embrace. And, and, and I mean, what sense would it make that everybody plays the European style? Asia, the Asian yeah. Championship is going on currently. <laughs> it's also very fast, you know, yeah. um, maybe not as physical, but very high intensity. European football is more, you know, strategic and all that kind of stuff i think that we're getting to a point where the physicality in our game we're not adding goals to it so yeah. that, that that makes it very interesting and, and I, i'll tell you something i'll come with it a, a different angle at the start of the tournament you know for 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 betters the bookies were i thought they were very disrespectful with some of the odds they were giving <laughs> for 2.5 for, for, you know, you know for, for for games you for know go, i'm seeing for goals, for goals, goals. yeah for goals you, you know i'm almost, seeing almost four i'm seeing 1.72 just to have two goals in a single match. And I thought that was really disrespectful. They, they've learned their lesson yeah. because people have dealt with them <laughs> severely. You know, people I mean, have I mean, dealt I mean, with them because I'm looking at the odds this morning and they are they are reverting back to what it should be, 1.36, 1.40. Some. Yeah. I mean, you're seeing Nigeria play. Yeah. Nigeria. And you give 1.50 odds. Like... Yeah. Very disrespectful. And, I think and from last, from last, uh, they, they, they are learning now. From last Afcon, I think what I noticed is more like the transition of the team. Um, African teams are known to be very direct. You see a defender, you know, send the diagonal pass to one attacker trying to hold off uh, <laughs> the defender. But this time around, you see from defense the build to up the player, midfield, yeah, to the attack, you know, back to the defense, even for Nigeria as well. So I think that has maybe that has helped in, you know scoring more goals and the technical aspect has been very fantastic and and, and I, I have to apologize to Tan tanzania I, I was here the last time and i was i was very harsh on them i mm -hmm. thought they were i thought they were shambles against against <laughs> morocco but yesterday they they told me put that sh that thing that <laughs> yeah, you can <laughs> put it back yeah because they played football yesterday and I was so <laughs> impressed. They kept it on the ground yeah, and they passed yeah. it. And more like against, more like against Zambia, not Zamb no, yeah. no, no, yeah, but Zambia is not a bad, is not a bad side, you know. Because when you consider where Tanzania are coming from, who was talking about Tanzanian football ten years ago? Yeah. Now, mm. now you're hearing Simba, you're hearing the the other club. They're building something really good with their yeah. club football and. 
some of these players come to competitions. You know, I, I saw the Equatorial Guinea game against Nigeria, and after right. the game, they were all scrambling to get jerseys from the Nigerian players. Mm. You know, yes, he, no. he, yeah. he, he can tell you what the level. They come into the pitch with real awe. Like, I'm on the same pitch with Victor Simon. I'm yeah. on the same pitch with Iwobi. So much respect. But the quality of the football hasn't quite shown the gap between some of these big countries and the relatively smaller countries. Yeah. And it's been so impressive. And yeah. it's good to see. Is that the beauty of a, of a 2014 tournament? It, mm. it came under lots of um, criticism when mm. the format was just, you know, newly um ideated and it kind of felt like you know the, the popular argument was you know it would water down the quality of the tournament yeah but if anything it's almost um allowed the so-called smaller nations the minnows have battle experience and with every 2014 tournament there is um greater incentive and greater mm. quality on show so i think it might be the last afcon where you say this team is going to go into it as clear favorites. Mm, uh, yeah. I think Senegal are maybe a bit ahead and shoulders of everybody. But when you watch Equatorial Guinea, for example, when you watch Mali and when you see what Angola and Mauritania do together, mm. DR Congo against Morocco, yeah. you know, yeah. the last time oh, out, I, incredible I that, stuff, yeah. you know. I thought they could have beat Morocco easily, you know. So that's that's the beauty of it, isn't it? Yeah, I, I mean, uh, maybe not so easily, but the fact that they, they Morocco went comfortable, uh, against them, like they were in the first game. You know, scored a goal, could have scored another, but then Diago Congo came back into the game. So I think <clears throat> so one thing is clear from, from the AFCON that we're witnessing so far is that there's not a there's not a big name team uh, that can go into a game thinking, no, we don't have a problem, we'll blow them. Yeah. There's not a problem. That's one thing. It doesn't matter who you're playing. They're bottom of the table with just one point or no points. They, they they can give you serious trouble. Save for Senegal, that I think they've re, they've been really good against Cameroon. It was it was different class. You know, we talked about it. They toyed with Cameroon sometimes, played some really good stuff, and it wasn't even the Senegal that was um, that was just all about being very solid. Yeah, they 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 were really passing it around easily. Yeah. you know, creating those triangles and just moving it about. And when Cameroon felt like we're going to come back into the game, they went back the other end and put the icing on the cake. So there's that. There's a bit of assurance with how they play, you know, in terms of quality, you know, understanding tactical discipline and, and all and of that. They, they, they mix, you know, you know, when, when we talk about physicality on the African football, and African football is extremely physical. I mean, yeah. I mean I've seen some some really key battles. You know, someone is shielding the ball, trying to. There's nothing wrong with that, and, and there's it's, nothing yeah. wrong with that. It's part of the game. As yeah. as, as long as it's within the ambit of the law, it's, yeah. it's great to see because. I mean, when you want you want to see teams show intensity, show energy, but with Senegal, it just feels like they are they have in every aspect of their game they've got it on lock. Yeah. You know, they they play with if you want it physical, we can play. If you keep it on the ground, we, can, we, can we have match. technical players who can beat you to it, and yeah. it's good to see. But I mean, I still feel like there's someone out there waiting to take them to the yeah, clinic. Yeah, yeah. Speak, speaking of Cameroon, um, <laughs> Seton Andre Onana, you know, for all the fanfare that has uh, followed him all through the tournament, um, you know, he still collects. I think that's uh, goal number 50, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think it's 51. You can't be, you can't be a part of the people counting the number of goals <laughs> no, Onana has well. No, well, we, have, we, have to, we have to put out the stats. <laughs> this is the stats I, segment of the show. It's, it's against Senegal, so I really don't expect anything less. Yeah. Um, you, you know, I, for me, I think Onana is, is not that bad. Mm. I will say Anana that I will say that he's, he's, he's always too exposed um, playing for Man United and Cameroon at the same time. I think you can't that's say that's it, a weapon yeah, fashion. Yeah, so so unlucky. But well, he might be the problem. No, no, you, you, because you, you, he's no, playing for both teams. Look at, look at the goals. goals. Look at the goals he considered against Senegal. Yeah, it's, it was probably more like the defenders, you know, just trolling around the field. And mm. at least you should. There should be. I always. I said it here that. The reason Uzo has been struggling also for the national team is because we expose our keepers too much. Mm. Now you need to have, if you have good defensive, I pairing, mean, that cap. See, see, no, if you have good <laughs> defensive pairing, <laughs> I feel that it will it will limit what, like you said, the fashion weapon against. <laughs> <laughs> It's the same it. way. If you have a good goalkeeper, it <laughs> yeah. no, no, no. It will limit it will limit the amount the of amount mistakes of, of, that of no, fashion no, no, that no. can happen yeah, against okay, okay. 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 Who would you rather have, a world class goalkeeper or a world class defensive defensive pairing? 
A world class goalkeeper. If you are told to pick one, a world class goalkeeper. A world class goalkeeper. Do you know why? Because Bramble in front of me. Nalai. Nalai. No, 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 no. Nalai. You go trouble. A world class goalkeeper. Do you know why? Why? See, eh? Rufai, you don't know what you're saying. You know why that one cannot work? Wait. Now, I'll give you an example. Make I talk. Oh, yeah. See that why you go allow me? No vexer. Thank you. Bro. Why that can work is that a, a world class goalkeeper that knows his stuff can organize his stuff behind a defense pairing that's not so good. You can still mitigate to, for that a little bit by you know ordering being the brain. Wait, 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 a very good defensive pairing, a useless goalkeeper. Mm. My brother, there is nothing you do, right? That defensive pairing. Because the goalkeeper is the last line of mm. defense. There are things that you can see that he has to see, right? If if you flip it around that way, I decide once, they, once they beat Rufai, you, you are in trouble. Rufai, 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 when match starts, when match starts, see how this English way they speak. I think I'm very defensive pairing that is that is very good. When you go give me reason, when, 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 when match, I don't give you reason. See, now, now, match, now, the that. difference is that the difference is that there are some games that you don't you, you don't even get to have so, shot on targets, and that's because most of these pairings have marked up space. They've covered spaces and the rest. Look at Nigeria. Now, because let, they play let, against let, teams they're no good. No, now. no. Let me give you an example. Now you they play against teams they're no good. Now imagine say your now your keeper be world class and your defender has not be world class. You know say normally if you if they no mark space if they shoot you don't know say okay if I pick this spot from wherever I am okay look at that um, that pivot go that free kick from mm, yeah a world class goalkeeper doesn't consider that now you want no no I've seen no that free kick no, bro not the no, third goal no, the free kick the, the, the baby free kick <laughs> you want uh, no I've seen <laughs> I've seen the best goalkeepers <laughs> concede some very funny free kicks eh hey, but that, that is they are wrong now not not that but, type bro, no but. but even if they concede no, it, that ball goes in at the ninety, bro, at the angle ninety. Bro, no, that's the no, third no, goal you have to see, see about see, now. The only time, not that one. The only time, not that third goal. That the only, no, see, the third goal, no, but that one. The only time, the only time, time can beat a team that has maybe world class um, defensive pairing and maybe a keeper that is not that good is maybe set piece or any other thing. They want. But, but during in play, bro, it right. go hard. Quick question. I tell you. I mean, speaking about Andrew Onana, you know, would you rather have Onana in, in our goal and, you know, exchange for Mabali? No chance. Says. Of course. I will. No, no I chance. Will. I would yeah. rather I have him. No, I would rather I have him. I don't no want. I will. Because we, bro. We, we, we play from bro. the back. I don't want. I would rather have him. Let me tell you. I would rather have him. Let me tell you. Because I think Onana, for all the trouble Onana has gone through in the past, you know, five months, Onana is a very confident lad. Right, so let's let's I would let's have him. My make, brother, make, don't make, be make, confident. Make, make, make I know if you they play. Yeah. If, if you if you want to destroy Nigeria, no, you know they play. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me twist the question. You know Onana or or uh, Raya, who would you rather have? You go. David Raya. You didn't think I have Raya. Uh, you yeah. why you cause you can sip small drink <laughs> as you talk about. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make a joke. But Onana is see, not that bad, sir. No, but Onana is not that bad. Let's let's progress the conversation, right? Let, let's narrow in on it because we don't have all the time in the world. But um, let, let's narrow in on Nigeria, Guinea Bissau, and look, the stats are quite clear. Um, you know, second ever meeting, you know, in an Africa Cup of Nations game. Interestingly, it was uh, the last group game as well uh, in 2022 where we uh, beat them two 0 And you know, in, in that in that in that tournament, we we defeated the group. And yeah. we <laughs> went on to <laughs> basically we conquered the group. We nine conquered points. the group. You know, nine yeah, points. Was... It was it was all flying, it was all dandy, and um, we know how the rest is history. But we're familiar opponents. You know, we, we've been in the same group for qualifiers, uh, Afcons, and World Cup qualifiers. So, um, what is what 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 kind of disadvantage can that be? Where you know you play somebody a lot, where you sort of lose respect for them because mm. you know yeah. how they play. Is that is that something we'll have to watch out for in, in, in the game later? Yeah, you, you have to be careful. And, and you know, I, I said the other day, there is nothing as dangerous as playing uh, against someone or fighting someone who's got absolutely nothing to lose. Those guys are already, they, they are leaving tomorrow, clearly. And they know that they've got to put up a show. They've got to go out there, enjoy themselves. There's absolutely no pressure. They don't care if they lose 10 nil. It, it, it doesn't matter anyway. So, it's a dangerous game. It's a very tricky game that could go in there and, and after 60 minutes, you are struggling or you, you even concede. So, I think that the mindset, the attitude has got to be good. And it's always difficult. I, I said it last time we recorded that 
you know, I worry about how we are going to motivate ourselves to play this kind of fixture because <laughs> when you play against Cote d'Ivoire, it's, it's easy, easy to, mo to, to, to yeah. motivate yourself. It's easy to go out there and fight. When you get, play against a side who have lost two matches in scandalous fashion, it's very easy to, to be sloppy. It's very easy to, you know, just lose concentration. But I, I hope we do not. Uh, I hope the manager realizes that this is a very important game, not just... Um, qualifying, but qualifying and topping the group. What, it would be I think from the press what, conference. What, 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 okay. One question: Do do you, if you're a manager, do you start with Simon or you know give him a rest? We, we, we job is half done. Well, Simon we need one point from, from, you know, from the press conference because he's the only striker uh, you've got um, effectively. Yeah. Omera was the one that you know answered the press, and I think it's obvious that maybe Pesero wants to rotate the squad. I said it here the last time that it's only nice of him to play out guys who have Terry Murphy's there. You know, Paul Onoachu as well, you know, the um Omero as well, Ahmed Musa right there. So I think we I don't know why he's giving too much respect, you know, to Guinea Bissau because I feel that on a right day, anytime, any day, I think the Super Eagles of Nigeria should be able to stroll, you know, past Guinea Bissau. Mm. You have the same Murphy. way. You have on a good day. We should have beaten. The no, no, no. This, this is a different thing. This is. This is, this no, is I've said this is a different thing. I, I, you know, I, I, know, I, I, I said. I agree. I said the, the problem is that the problem is that, the problem is that like I said before, <laughs> I think it, the coach shouldn't worry because we've been creating chances. I said it yet last time as yep. well. We've been, the the thing to do now is how do we get these guys to convert their chances? And right. I think that should work out better playing against Bikini Bissau. So back, to back on what IBK said, you know, I think Nigeria should deserve, deserve a bit more respect as far as, you know, AFCON tournaments go. Uh, 100, uh, 100 game in the AFCON and, um, you know, we're, there are only four teams to have played 100 games at the AFCON. Uh, Nigeria having 55 wins uh, currently. Wow. You know, Egypt are the only team that have, wow. a, have a better win percentage than us. <laughs> and when you compare, Egypt have won the tournament eight times. <laughs> Right, Nigeria won it three times. Wow, so fantastic. that tells you that you know we've come very close or to many finals, if you like. So yeah, um, Nigeria's hundred game at the Afcon, uh, fourth nation to reach that total. Egypt, Ghana, Ivory Coast, and guess who else is in the picture as well? Um, you've got um, you know a very interesting lineup as far as you know Centurion teams in the tournament. So it's great to see that. But um, so uh, I mean, you. You the the number of wins were, were second behind Egypt. Behind yeah, Egypt, yeah. Wow, that, yeah. that's got a, got a, got another stat for you. Uh, Nigeria have only lost three of their last 20, 22 Afcon group games. That run dates back to two thousand and four. So thank you, thank we, you. We, brilliant, we, brilliant. Do the stats count for count for much? They do. Uh, they do sometimes. Uh, I think it works uh, on the psyche of the players. You know, players realize that. Uh, we haven't lost for that long, and we will not start it's here. It's part of motivation, mm. you know. So it, it, it's it's part of. But they even know the stats. They, <laughs> I would think they would know. I mean, I think every team has a statistician. You yeah. know, you must, you must. It's very important. You mm. know, play. Some someone will ask, how does this play into football? You know, but the players have got to be made aware of certain things going into football matches. So you do not want to set an unwanted record. You know, you don't want to be that team that. You know, set that that. But record. you know, they got it wrong with the medical team. We didn't know. Is it now statistician? Is now statistician? I think I can't bet that. So, but, so but, statistician, we don't go tell them say we don't win. But I tell you what, this 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 is the style you like. Um, no, statistician would do. <laughs> you know what, man? You would play a World Cup qualifier that somebody was not supposed to play. play yeah. Yellow yeah. card. Somebody was not supposed to play the next that match. That person was very lucky. That was the Russia World Cup. <laughs> and they were very lucky. Yes, it was very lucky. Very, very lucky. <laughs> we, almost, we almost got disqualified for that one. They don't bunny house. Right. right. <laughs> they don't bunny house. <laughs> <laughs> we, don't, we don't encourage any violence on the show. Please, we don't. Right. <laughs> um, but this is a stat that you would like, right? Um, you know, Super Eagles have won 10 of their last 12, you know, last group games. Mm. You know, the one loss and the one draw. The last time we lost the last group game was against Madagascar in 2019. I remember because I was working on the game, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, you know, in, in, in the AFCON studios. But um, so so clearly, IBK is right when he says we are good, we are, we're qualified. Because I have the, the sneaky feeling that the job is half done. But with what I've seen from Morocco, who were overwhelming favorites to beat Diakongo, I, I'm, I'm a bit worried. And maybe that's the skepticism in me. But 
IBK is right when he says that we should maybe yeah. give the rest to a couple of players and use the team a bit more to serve us better in, in the long run. Isn't I it? agree. Yeah. I, I totally agree with that. I, I think, um, obviously, you've got Terry Murphy on, on, of the bench. I don't think Osimhen will want to be rested. He hasn't... He, he would, <laughs> I don't think he wants to be rested. <laughs> because he would... You know, every time Osimhen plays for Nigeria, now, and we had a, a really good conversation about, about him and his performance at the tournament. And... I actually think it's been very good for us. He hasn't just put the ball like some, at, some people want to take your head off. You know, for, you know, I don't I think he's been really good. Apart from not, you know, taking those chances. He wants the top scorer award. You yeah. know, I, I know he wants it and I predicted he'll probably get get it at, uh, at the end of the day. Would he still get it? Uh, you you uh, have you, a, you, you have, never know. You have Gilson Dalla who should who should have scored he's a hat trick. You know, power. you know, um, you, you, you you never know. He probably would cut the manager's head off if he doesn't play him today because he would fancy yeah, I I, I knocked one or two. I think he scored four against Sech. Was it a uh, uh, South 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 So he can, he can get four. He can you get. Know, he's somebody who thinks he who, who backs himself all the time. Yeah. I, I I fancy he probably wants to start, but Terry Murphy is one who no, hasn't I would, even I, played I, at all. I, so I, I probably would play him as well. Ahmed Musa is, is one whose pace could could be a real asset for us. Just you know, move the team a bit. You know, yeah. let's I, have, let's have some. How many subs? I'm a, I'm a, How many I'm a, subs? I'm a, I'm a, I think it's five. I'm a, li- I'm a, li- five, I'm a yeah. little bit because don't yes, change the team too much. Actually, yes, because you, you want to bring people who haven't played in, but there's a chance you could also lose that rhythm, that yeah. cohesiveness. Because you have to understand. It's not a team where these guys have you, you, they, they've played together so much For where so oh everything yeah. is fine so we can bring anybody in and it's the same level that, that it's, it's not that kind of team yeah and, and you want to get the job done first if anything I think the backline cannot be touched should, oh, should, nah, of course, of course. should not be touched of course you know no. I think Omero that, starts that has to, we, no. we, we, what I, we what I no, so no, I think that, that I has think to be the starts. foundation of you know the backline maybe you take maybe you take one person out of the back line just you know because you have because when you're playing three at the back three center backs you're effectively using a lot of your center backs in the same game but i think that i know has to be on the right um uh, maybe you can take zaidu out and play somebody else there because zaidu hasn't i don't think i think our best chances are falling to zaidu maybe i was him something yeah. like that but um gentlemen i want to talk about penalties and you know we're getting to that stage of the tournament where you know penalties are becoming a bit more decisive we've seen a, a couple given in the tournament so far and i, I read a story that victor simen did tell you know um Ekong. you know Ekong, you know go ahead and take the penalty um you were on air with joseph yobo and you know he mentioned that you know forget what victor said it is the pre-arrangements you know yeah. before the game that trust is the designated spot yeah play. and and we had a game against ghana the world cup qualifier the ill-fated world cup qualifier against ghana and we had a, a pressure penalty and two seconds. More like infamous. <laughs> infamous, you know. It it's two seconds took it. So he clearly is at the top of the of the of the penalty takers. So the, there's one, two, three. Uh like you you but one school of thought, why should the striker not 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 there are people who are, why, why must he be a striker? No, no, no. Uh, it, it must yeah, be I a striker. Think, why he, must he be a striker that I would think, think so? Better. Why why does why does um you know at Liverpool who takes the free kicks? It's Trent now. You if know, I've got the talent, I've got the talent. It doesn't mean you know, it. They're, they're players. I feel you can work on your game. You know, I, I feel Messi, Ronaldo. I feel they, they didn't start with some. Maybe I let's see, say. This is how they want to go. This is how they want to go. No, I mean, we're not just small talk. Somebody will not go Messi, Ronaldo. No, I mean, that's, I mean, that's I not mean, a real no, standard. No, no, what, what I'm saying is, you can, you can. I've seen, I've seen attackers work on what. They didn't. They didn't. Maybe they wait, didn't learn how think, to do before. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How did like free kicks, like penalties? How did Osimhen not be very good at? Penalty kicks come into the conversation. He can work on it. That's what I'm saying. Is, it, is so there anybody that lot, said he's bad at it? A lot, a lot of players, a lot of players are not good with penalties. A lot good. of players. Me, I'm just a saying that. A lot of players. You see, but, they, even but, Messi and Ronaldo, even though. Messi and Ronaldo. If you, if I had a penalty to save I don't think my Messi, life, I don't think penalties are great. I don't pick any, both of them. If I had penalty, if I had uh, I'll pick a Ronaldo. penalty Ronaldo. to save my <laughs> life. <laughs> I If I get penalty and I need somebody to convert it, I will go and call James Milner. Because you see James Milner is a good choice. James Milner. Because you see, there are people who know Do you know why you mentioned There are people who know how to take this thing. Eden Hazard. 
There are people. No, you who know what? Abu Kari Hazard. You know what? Abu Kari Hazard. Right. 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 Oh God, I swear. There are people who just know how to take this Before thing. Hazard, Yakubu Aibeni. Yakubu Aibeni. There are people who just. They just have that. In the way. 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 The more penalty is. You know what? Because of the. 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 You know what? Because of you know hazard's technique is almost as if he backs himself he makes the decision where he want to play and go the last minute now when he want to kick the ball if they pick where he won't play. I don't know how you that do that kind of thing. Hazard scores. You go wrong. You go. You go do this thing. Go my best then right, go take my, leg. My best picky taker. Steven Gerrard or Lampard. <laughs> No, 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 but, but Ronaldo is, is Ronaldo is good. Ronaldo, Ronaldo, Ronaldo has Ronaldo played Ronaldo, a Ronaldo, lot of Ronaldo, 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 and he has not missed it. But, my, not but missed. my point is that it can be worked on. That's whether whether you so, are yeah, sorry, so, it, so, so, it can so, be worked so, on. So, it can I mean, be worked on. But uh, my brother, we not it will not be worked on when we need a goal to win the match. You get that's that goal that time. You get that place. The reason we have this conversation is because you know you get into the round of sixteen, for example, and the game become tighter. Yeah, right. And it comes to that point where you might go to a penalty shootout. And wh why I say this is because the, the humility, like we've seen, becoming a big factor in the games. I watched the, the Morocco game and, you know, after the first 15 minutes, after the water break, the players slow down. It is incredibly intense, Jige. And if you run in the sun, for example, I, I run in the morning, sometimes I take my runs late. Once the sun comes out, Baba, you all begin to drag. You start yeah, dragging yeah, a little yeah. bit, you know. Um, and that's what the weather, because... The air you're breathing is a lot, you know, is a lot heavier, and so I mean, so this is all, you know, uh, the sports science and stuff like that. But the point I'm trying to make is that we might see lots of games go to penalties. Mm. Do we have the the talent in the squad? The way you look at the mm. team to have a five team, five, you know, sport taker? Because if trust is one, Osimhen will be another one. Yeah, Osimhen. Can I can I count? On, I know. I think I know. I cannot count on the Wobi. You know, he, he won't be no. Kelechi, Kelechi, if he's on the pitch, if he's on the pitch, probably won't start. So I don't know. He probably you know. will be on the pitch. But but that's my pick. I can't, I can't find any other person. Um, Ola I know. Lukman. Ola I know. I have. Probably, I, I think he will score. Ola I know. Lukman should. Um, Lukman will Lukeman score. Should, should, technical should, good should. technical ability. Good technical ability. What you say before? No 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 no. no. Lukman the ball. He strikes nah, the ball. I don't really. know if he's a big take penalty. He strikes the ball very well. Frank Inko strikes the ball because I always think that the penalty for me. What really beats the goalkeeper most times in a penalty, if you're not sending him the wrong way, is the speed of the ball. If you if you get it move very fast yeah. before the goalkeeper dives, you yeah. know, and people who strike the ball very well. That's why Ronaldo, Ronaldo once Ronaldo goes to take a penalty, <laughs> the speed of the ball. If you can go when with when it. Balance it's balance not, I mean, it's thing. so weird. Balance, balance said it. the same thing that. He will probably let you know that he's, he's eating it here. Uh, but you uh, you're, you're, you're welcome so to try. I'm telling you, I'm eating it here. So players, some players won't change their, they won't change their mind. They that's are why, going that, that, there. That's one of the reasons. They've already picked the spot in their That's head. one of the reasons why I, mean, I feel like what really beats the goalkeeper is conviction. So, so take the ball, I've, put I've, it I've there. I've listened to, yes. to an ex player before who said that most times goalkeepers save penalties. That there's a tiny bit of indecisiveness from. The, uh, the the penalty the, taker the penalty taker yeah that most times goalkeepers say penalties some, some sometimes they're just brilliant saves but most times goalkeepers say penalties the player taking the penalty has changed his mind in the last minute mm, mm, true. that once you decide you your conviction conviction yeah. I'm putting it there and with force and when you when you decide <laughs> like to put it there force. the conviction in which you will take the penalty but panenka beats the goalkeeper they do panenka no, <laughs> panenka that's the conviction now they, Best panic I've seen. The best panic panic I've seen is. Is it Aguero? I think it was Euro. Is Andre Pelo? Euro 2012. Yeah, Pelo, Abi. 
Pelo against Johan. 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 That's the best. Bro. I mean, <laughs> Johan said it now. That it was yeah. Euros or World Cup? It was Euros. It was Euros. No, it does, was does, does Pelo look like somebody that is concerned about anything in life? Pelo yeah. should be arrested, <laughs> bro. Jail for you five do, years. No, Johan was at the top of his game. For me, Goodness for me, me. Pelo should work in the fire service. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he, he's a, somebody that doesn't have an ambition. <laughs> he just goes. He just they go where yeah, they go. You know. was, and it was so slow. You know the kind of mind you go get Panic for this ball. You feel come back. You feel you feel come back. Say me you. Yeah, but you know the guy mind you go get for this football. Yeah, for that play, kind of game, for that kind of yeah. But, and, but and even Niger, even Nigerian player should do Panenka and yeah. and does this try to and does this score. Don't try, that try yeah, that's not that nonsense. Don't try it because I don't see. <laughs> there are so many things I don't you trust. Don't grass. Bless you. <laughs> the grass, the, the I don't trust it. I don't yeah. trust it. I don't know if somebody put Juju in the post. I don't trust anything. In Africa, don't shoot the ball. <laughs> I see two seconds, whole ball keep on tossing. Yeah. You, you go back. You don't. You don't turn back. Go. And, and I think I have an observation oh. concerning the ball. I don't know if it's only me. I think the ball moves too fast. Okay, I don't, yeah, now leave you. Now leave you. <laughs> now leave me. <laughs> I, I, I love the I love the ball. It has a, it has a swerve on it. Yeah, <laughs> like you go. They no go put power out. Body body go. My go brother, right I love you. you. <laughs> but I love it. You know, I, th- I think the most popular ball in history has to be that Jabulani ball. <laughs> Jabulani, yeah. You know, uh, and it's always in Africa. So <laughs> that's that's, that's Diego Fola's ball. That's, that's Hi, Diego Fola. Fola, Fola and that what ball. A, what like they make out, give out. How, how, how much would Diego Fola just, just diverting? How, how much? How much would Diego Fola go in modern? Two hundred and fifty million. If you don't have it, drop it's the all the Darwin Nunes, them they're, they're well, like they're like they're like eight times that, less is, than the. Is Darwin Nunes smoking? Is it Diego Fola? You know, you're buying you're buying hoodlum for how much? What's his name? <laughs> that was that boy's name. Yeah. <laughs> Hoyland uh, for eighty million pounds and Diego Fola. Diego no. Fola. Um, look, let, let's talk to Stan from a. You know, Stan has called into the show this morning. Stan, uh, thanks for joining us because um, you know, it's a very uh, unique occasion on the African continent. Um, but tell me about the the feeling. You are in Spain and obviously. Um, you've been following uh, events. Do, do you feel like a tournament is happening in Africa? Do you, do you get that sense? Yes, definitely. I think it's been a very attractive tournament. You know, I've had the opportunity to watch a few games here and there, and I'm surprised, to be honest, by the quality. And like uh, in the words of the great Moses Praise, in Yala, anybody can be beaten. <laughs> it's the perfect summary of this tournament so far because... It's official now. There are no minnows on the African continent. You know, we've seen upsets. You know, we've seen uh, even th- those small teams that naturally we think, you know, they don't have a chance in the tournament. They all seem to have a, you know, kind of a star player or a player here and there that plays in the Premier League, plays somewhere in Europe, you know, on high level. And teams just seem to be motivated to to take scalps. Um, of course, Nigeria so far, you know, I think... Uh, the problem with uh, Nigeria is, uh, I agree with what you guys said in the last podcast, that y- you guys are so football crazy that there's almost this pressure that y- you, I don't know if it's willingly or not, but you put on your team. And, you know, everything is scrutinized and everything's looked at. But as a neutral, you know, looking at this Nigerian team, I think uh, you guys have every chance to to go far in this tournament. You know, we have one of the, the teams that has the most uh, informed players right now. I mean, just look at the front three. Those are the kind of, okay, maybe you can argue that Sami Chikwesi hasn't had the start of the season that, you know, we would expect. But the other two in Lukman and Osimen, you know, they're the leading goal scorers in Italy right now. And and with Osimen up front, you have the best striker right now, uh, not even on the African continent, in, in, in the world. So I think you should uh, cheer up and be a bit more. Harry, Harry Kane left the WhatsApp group, but um, <laughs> um, look, tell me about tell me about um, you know the. Stan, Stan is, is Stan. I don't know Stan, if you know. I don't know if you know, but it's, it's very early Lagos. So you know, the smoke. You, you, you need to come to Nigeria. Yeah, they'll give you a title. We kept the smoke <laughs> down, <laughs> but we need to give you an MB or an OB. <laughs> or an OB. But talk to me about um, the Spanish. Um, look, in Africa, obviously, there are teams. You know, you have the francophone teams, the the Senegal's, your your Burkina Fasos, and and whatnot. Um, your Cote d'Ivoire. Do you have any interest, special interest? Obviously, you're not Spanish, but um, you are um, Bulgarian. Do you have any special affinity for teams like you know the angola who are um the spanish you know portuguese you know, portuguese, portuguese territory that's the word i'm looking for the cape verde of this world is, is that Guinea. Like, Guinea. 
definitely. Yeah, Equatorial Guinea. I, I've been really, really impressed by Cape Verde with uh, my old uh, friend Bebe, who's who's been playing straight here in 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 Rava Ecano for many years after. You know, his unsuccessful uh, spell at uh, Man United. You know, the, the Thunder goal that he scored the other day was... Uh, I've seen many of those here in Spain. You know, he tries that a lot uh, from free kicks, from just long-range shots. So good to see him. Uh, as far as affinity, I don't really have any, to be honest. Now, because of you guys, obviously, you know, I'm I'm checking what's going on with Nigeria, how, how you're doing. So... I'm definitely going for the Super Eagles in this tournament, but I have had a look, of course, on Morocco. You know, you know Morocco's proximity to Spain, and of course, some of the players there play in the Spanish league. Uh, I expected the, more from them, to be honest. At the start, I, I still think they're one of the favorites in the tournament, but you know they haven't had the best of starts. But sometimes in tournaments, it's not about how you start; it's about how you, you know, progress the, to get into the right form when. You know, when the quarterfinals, when the when the latter stages come around, uh, I think Senegal is probably still the, the biggest favorite for me, the defending champions. Yeah. Um, you know, what they did in the last AFCON, you know, and they still have those players there with the know-how, the experience. I think Mane, obviously, is not the same Mane from a few years ago in Liverpool, but he's still that clutch player that, you know, if you, if you bet your money on a player right now to score in a final... You know, you don't look further than than Sadio Mane, who's done it in the in the finals of Champions Leagues and and so on. Yeah. But of course, uh, uh, great, great uh, uh, thoughts, uh, Stan. Uh, just give me a prediction there, because um, I listen to you and I, I kind of get the sense that you you're more dispassionate about than this guy, so you can see things a bit more clearly, right? Um, Nigeria need just the one points to qualify, um, and even the four points we've got could still you know make us qualify, given the third place. Uh, best loser um advantage but um if you were to pick a team to win the tournament you know obviously you think senegal aside senegal that is the obvious pick who would you go for you know morocco there is nigeria there is egypt um who would you go for i'd go for morocco to be honest i think um they also have kind of mm, that experience from the world cup you know they have the stability with the manager because this is something that we see a lot in africa right that uh managers don't st- tend to stay for a long time and they're not given time to, I mean, not just in Africa, it's modern football to, to be, you know, to build a system, to get as, you know, a generation going for a few years, get a style of play. And with Morocco, we do see that, you know, from the world cup, we saw what they're about. We saw how well uh, drilled they are. And I think they've just built on that. They obviously hadn't had the start they wanted. Uh, with that draw in the in the first round, I think. But then, uh, no, they won in the first round, then they drew. But um, I think they can get better throughout the tournament. And they have those star players, you know, like like Hakimi, like in the Siri, who's, he can, you know, score a, a goal or two. Of course, in goal, they have probably one of the best uh, goalkeepers around. Yeah. So, yeah, I'd go for, for Morocco uh, just Sorry. after Senegal. But uh, I still find... You're very good uh, diplomats, uh, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> landing, landing just the way, no, uh, landing just the way you like it. Uh, but Stan, let's get um, uh, Fee on as well. Um, Stan, look, just stay with us. Uh, we could uh, rock with you till the very end. But thank you so much for um, you know calling into the show this morning. It is such a privilege to have you, and such an honor as well. You're one of the best out there. <coughs> thank you, good man. Uh, Fee, look. Look, I like the hairstyle, but um, you look like you're not happy with Super Eagles. Um, <laughs> You know, it's an hour early where you are, I imagine. You're in Ireland or Oman? Where, where is it? <laughs> <laughs> you be, you do want to teleport me to Oman? I'm in Ireland. I mean, you never know, man. <laughs> I'd like to go myself. Welcome to the show. Um, look, you are one of the most um, staunch followers of, 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 of the podcast. And of course, you know, by by inference, Super Eagles. What have you made of, of the journey so far? Quickly, uh, we're, we're a bit out of time, but... You know, how far do you see the team going? Are we over exuberant when we give the team the props we're giving the team? Uh, I don't think we've been over exuberant because we have seen the team has been literally poor in last in their previous outings in games, friendlies, uh, qualifiers. It's only been a few games that they have performed. And seeing the team perform 
like when people don't expect is something that people should definitely be happy about. It's looking like the coach wants to be more pragmatic, not sticking to just one thing, trying different things. You can see in the first game, he used a 4-4-2. The next game, he's using a 3-4-3. Like opponents, now I might not know kids, Nigeria, come, will be, Nigeria will be coming with a 4-4-2 or they be coming with the 4-3-3 or 3-4-3. So like, that's good for the team. But one thing is I feel like the team keeps needs to keep progressing. We shouldn't pick early because the last half con we picked early. Our first three games were guns blazing and in the next round we were out. So like the team, the team needs to keep doing we have one one drawn one and in cup competitions it's not about the best teams it's not about the who plays best it's about how you can manage your players manage the team manage the games because a team can score their first goal in the 41st yeah. minute or few minutes few minutes before half time and they defend the lead throughout and the better team or who plays better is knocked out of the competition and I feel like our attackers need I was saying it on our Twitter space. They need to eat their food. This is a tournament. It's not a league competition. If yeah. you get three chances, you should at least be bearing one. It's like enough of, oh, we have counters and their decision-making in the final top being poor. They need yeah. to work faster, do better in the final yeah. course. So, yeah... Yeah, I think we can all agree that's the Achilles heel of the team. You know, we need to start taking those chances because I, I worry if we play a team, you know, I watch Burkina Faso taking chances. I think the only team that doesn't take their chances are DR Congo, you know, who had 25 shots in the first game, you know, the most of any country in the AFCON and, you know, had an XG of 2.54 and only managed to, they didn't manage to score a goal, you know. Um, so, scored one. Scored score one goal, yeah. I think you know, and, and Nigeria had an XG yeah, of... Um, I think Nigeria had an XG of uh, I think three 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 point zero something like that in the first game, you know, against Victoria Guinea, and we yeah. scored just you know one, one. one goal. So that's something Fee obviously has uh, picked up as well. I think we all agree with that. But um, Fee obviously you're look. Can you dispassionately tell us who win the Afcon? You know, Senegal are obviously favourites, but do you think you know that Nigeria can make it that far? You know, to semi-finals, finals. Honestly, like people are making Senegal favourites, but. In the last one they won, we shouldn't forget that they did not pick Ellie. But now Senegal is looking like they are all guns blazing. I have a feeling that a team will catch Senegal, be, give them 1-0 early on, and they'll be out of ideas. But let's see. Morocco have not been really impressed. They are not playing a lot as underdogs in this competition. At the World Cup, they played as underdogs, team back, but there's nothing like that now in AFCON. So I don't know. I feel like we'll be surprised by a team winning, it will not be one of the people we expect to win. The Super Eagles, I expect them to at least do, at least a semi-finals and maybe get a golden bronze again. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, are you, are you going to take that, guys? You know, if if you if you had the option now, yeah. right, take the bronze medal, mm. right, at the moment, guaranteed, and walk away, or. Progress in the tournament and you don't know the outcome. Please. What would you have? Take that Goody bro <laughs> <your bag. laughs> and get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> get back immediately. Put that Goody <laughs> bro inside <laughs> and before I use it to stone <laughs> your head. <laughs> what do you think? I think I'll risk it. I think I'll risk it. Let's let's continue. I mean, it's, 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 it's worth Take it. it. It's worth risking. Yeah. yeah, it's worth risking. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna refine, man. That bronze. If, you, if I take that before I stole you, <laughs> before I thump up my eyes, <laughs> let's get out of this place. <laughs> let's go back. You know, I tell you what it does. I tell you what the bronze does, right? What the bronze does is that it guarantees you the same amount of games with the finalists, right? Mm. That means you go as far in the tournament as, mm. as as possible. But um, also it gives you a, a foundation to build on, right? I've always thought that I think it's something we talked about on the, on the podcast before <laughs> that the team <laughs> this foundation with the band, no, foundation I would not have been since <laughs> it often said I have a abandoned project now because I mean <laughs> foundation <laughs> project now. Say, cement don't expensive block don't expensive <laughs> yeah so we need our work and save the power we, we need our goal but, but I, tell you, I, tell, I tell you what it does I always feel like the second team in the tournament in Africa doesn't get as much praise mm. yeah, like the yeah. bronze medalist Right. You know that's you true. come back with a feel true. good factor. That's true. Yeah. That yeah. finals like this, you know. I mean, Burkina Faso lost the final to us. Yeah. N not many people speak about it, mm. right? But I imagine that when we won the bronze medal a couple of years ago, 
you know, we still feel like it was a successful yeah, album. You collected yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. You can't collect something. Yeah. You know, come. Now we think yeah. a self talk. Now. Yeah. So, th- 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 would you agree with that? Would you take the bronze medal now if you're given the bronze medal? If we're given the bronze medal, I'll take it because my expectation going into the competition was Nigeria will get knocked out of the group. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, like uh, I did not have high expectations going into this tournament, but I don't still have my high hopes high because I don't trust those. Players. I think that's the best way to follow the Eagles. Yeah, you know, course. it's the hope you that know, kills them. You know, we my, my we are, we are together. But just knows that very well. Yes, <laughs> he's very. You want to tell us the club he supports? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's very <laughs> familiar. It's the hope that kills you. It's the hope that kills. Yes, so Kevin De Bruyne is warming up the whole country. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Kevin the brother is moving up more like as that fans are shaking. The whole country is shaking, you know. <laughs> but uh, speaking of which, uh, just a, a quick divergence. Um, like, but you, I mean, you support Liverpool, no? Um, Arsenal. Arsenal, ah! right? Ah, you are shaking. You are really shaking. You are shaking. What, I can't what understand. About one? You, are, you, are, you are really shaking. How? What's the elephant? What, what, what's he saying? <laughs> um, honestly, it's still early days. Um, five. No, what's the elephant saying? That you what's the elephant leave, now? Yeah, you the want the to tell us saying? now that you don't know the elephant? Elef- elephant is chasing the league. <laughs> right, right. And that's going to be a real. You want to lose that race because elef- 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 elephants don't run. You understand? <laughs> I want the race. Elephants don't run. run. <laughs> that's, that's for sure. Um, if it... You may have a quick question to you. What's happening to it? United. I thought it was the blessed one. It was the one to take United to the promised land. What's please, happening? Please, please. We're talking about Super Eagles today. Who, who is that? No, we're not taking any questions outside uh, yes, uh, Premier yes. League. Right. <laughs> right. We are not taking any that's, question outside of it. That's the way I'm very focused because, you know... <laughs> you don't, uh, you you know. don't, they don't talk about United. You know, <laughs> let's, let's stick to that. Let's stick to that agenda. No, 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 right. no, no, no. Don't do that. Don't do that. The, don't, uh, don't do that. The, you know, the, 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 client, the client is very particular about, <laughs> <laughs> about, about us pushing Super Eagles, right? The right side of the table needs to be quiet because, uh, you know, their teams right now are not a factor in the Premier League. That, that right. one that you said, yeah. What's the you talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stan, the thing is that the right side is the other side, so I don't know if you're, you know, you're, you might be. You're right, right. <laughs> I get it, I get it. But um, look, Afcon is uh, at least for another three weeks there about, and um, you know the intention from um, you know Goldberg, uh, of course, is to have Nigerian football fans uh, support the team as much as possible, and um, you can see, you know, these two good people also, uh, you know, keying into the spirits and supporting the team as great as they can. Uh, gentlemen, I want to thank you very much indeed. Uh, for taking out your uh, business schedule to talk to us, yeah? Stan, appreciate it. You're a very good man. And um, Dagba as well. See you guys soon, eh? Bye, guys. Bless up. Is it just me? Is it just me? Or oh, there's a resemblance of Stanley Nwabili in our In Your, in your Album Monday. I agree. <laughs> hey, oh, Stan! My brother! My brother! I think I'm going to say look like one Bali. Show you how the one Bali gets I owe you, I owe you a full cutout of this <laughs> when you land the more time we have airport. Some kinds yes. of understanding. <laughs> I'm telling you. My <laughs> brother! <laughs> You are, you are on point. You are on point. You are on point. Stand, stand, stand. Go you are on point. Go one valley in real route. Too. <laughs> <laughs> well, trace your lineage. Trace your lineage. Right. Well, start great stuff then. Uh, we'll see you guys soon. Um, gentlemen, let's take predictions uh, for the game uh, before we leave the studio. Um, where do you see it going? Uh, let's take predictions for the Nigerian game. Uh, stand for you go and Dagba. Stan, I'll start with you. Uh, Guinea-Bissau, last time we beat them was uh, 2-0, 2019. Uh, 2022, actually. Um, where do you see this going? Do we, do we win by a high score line and Victor Simon a couple of goals? What do you, what do you think? Yeah, that's what I expect. I expect the fl- the good place to to get the good place to open and Nigeria to finally score those chances that they're creating in the last two games. I think the XG. I haven't seen the XG, but I, I bet it's been really high, and I bet this is the game that Nigeria wins comfortably. I'd say three one. Mm, a three one. Um, Dagba. Honestly, I'll go a 1-0 because uh, those guys are con- going to come with a demonic low block and we'll just get, be like, we'll rough word in and that will be it. Yeah. Gentlemen, thank you for, uh, so much. Um, guys, uh, look, predictions, 1-0, 2-0? 3-0. Uh, Alex, you will be any time goal scorer. <laughs> right. 3-0 is the scoreline. Uh, I think I, became... I said it before. I think 4. 4. Four. four should be, yeah. 4-0. Four ah, Victor four Simon Hattrick. I don't know if he's going to play, so I think, but... Four should be okay. I think Victor scores two today. Honestly, I, I think it's scores yeah, two goals. At least. I think um, I think three nil as well. Uh, three nil. Yeah, just to just to just just quickly add to the people that keep piling on Simon on 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 social media. You look at crossboard. You got other stars for other teams. Yeah. Check out how they're performing. 
Riyad Mahrez has been shocking. He's been, he's absolutely he's been shocking. He has so to move him in the last been, game. I, I could not believe I was watching Mahrez, right? That's one. In a game that they need to win. And he's captain. Um, uh, Salah Break, in the previous game. Break Salah don't go in England. Break, yeah, you know, Salah is he's injured now. So he has many back managers back. Well, 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 Sorry, Abe, what he did, is, 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 does it make sense? Let's go back to Liverpool. He says, yeah. Yeah, well, you know, you, you can have your... I don't think it has to do... I don't think it's, 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 it's Feel disrespectful, disrespectful for because... A captain. No, 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 no. It's better have, medical attention. It's clearly yeah, better yeah. medical attention. If there's a problem there, you probably have your um, your medical procedures already and mm -hmm. you don't want to mess out. I get what you're saying. Why can't he fly down to... to I, 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 and, I, and leave eh? the rest of the players. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> No, Shane, I only... I don't know. Leave the you know, rest he, of the players. Just bring, he might for rejoin, player. sir. There's a chance he nah, went to check out what's respect, going on. Uh, he might come back. Yeah, if they reach the semi-final. <laughs> imagine. <laughs> imagine. Such, such disrespect. Baba, <laughs> something... You know, you don't know if that's that right. And I ain't just pull that one for the headline. So, just to make sure say he's a bang. If they reach the semi-final. Same they reach the semi-final. But, I mean... It's us that's it's club. Mono go say on I, the I, I train. Club said, the train club said, you know, for me, I wish you know they get knocked out early and come back. Is it not club? club said it. I saw. So I, yeah, 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 I yeah, want to do so good luck every, to every, every manager. Luck. Every manager wants. But no, none country, of them. They yeah. are useless at club to talk am. <laughs> to talk <laughs> to them, come come you know, But anyway, it's, 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 what, it's, it's what it is, right? Uh, guys, uh, how about you let us know your predictions? Uh, we need those predictions uh, very early uh, with the hashtag Niger game on. And of course, it's powered by Goldberg. Let us know what you think happens in the game. Is Victor an anytime goal scorer? Is he a hat trick goal scorer? Um, how many uh, goals do Nigeria win by? And if you read the, the tone in the room, we're saying win. We're not giving a chance to draw or lose. But <laughs> even though points will still take us through to the next round. Round. Gentlemen, um, I want to thank you very much indeed. Uh, it's a very Always a uh, early morning recording. Um, it's great feeling actually in the studio, you know, when you've got um, the guys here and um, you've got Goldberg who are uh, the official bear partners of the Super Eagles and the NFF. So that's uh, great stuff then. Um, I hope you enjoy your rest of your day. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Thank Pre you. Appreciate Thanks it. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we'll have a Twitter space uh, upcoming for you uh, this afternoon. So how about you get on and be a part of the Twitter space? Uh, we'd like to see as many as uh, 500 people or more in the Twitter space. Let us know what you think is going to happen in real time. It's always better to record, but it's always really good to talk to people in real time and get your feedback, feel your pulse uh, pretty much. We're going to do some giveaways as well. I think by then we should have an idea of the lineup. Of the lineup as yeah. well, right? Uh, gentlemen, thank you so much indeed. Uh, my name is Yubi Ndwanovit. IBK has been here in Yobong Monday. Or well, luckily, Rafai. Nigeria, of course, uh, aiming for that 100th uh, AFCON uh, game. We've won 55 of those and hoping to make it to 56. We'll see you very soon. Bye bye. Yeah, our love for the game no, runs deep. Take my watch. You were the supporter. Let's go. From the banter master. Oh, this guy's supposed to play. Oh, that's a strong tag. Oh. To the oversabi coaches. And, and to all fans who make the game unforgettable. What a it's game on. Oh. Enjoy the rhythm of the game with Goldberg, official beer of the Super Eagles.